بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو کلاس ٹینتھ آئی ایم مس عظمہ نعیم فرام گارڈس پبلک ہائر سیکنڈری اسکول آئی ایم یور اکنامکس ٹیچر دا نیم آف یور ٹیکسٹ بک از ایلیمنٹری اکنامکس اٹ از ریٹن بائی الیاس احمد اینڈ پبلش بائی کفایت اکیڈمی ناؤ دا سلیبس آف دا فرسٹ ٹرم There are five chapters included in first term. Chapter 1, Evolution of Economic Life. Chapter 2, Economic Legacy of Pakistan. Number 3, Subject Matter of Economics. Number 4, Basic Concepts of Economics. And number 5, Demand. Now look at this slide. Here, definition of, definitions of economics are given. Actually, there are so many definitions given by various economists, but the most popular definitions are given by Professor Robbins and Professor Marshall. The first definition is the definition of Professor Robbins. He says that economic studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and square means which have alternative uses. This definition is based on the fact that man is a bundle of wants. Our wants are unlimited, but the resources to fulfill these wants or these needs are limited. So what we have to do? Robin says that we have to follow a line of action to attain the immediate wants. While in the words of Professor Marshall, Economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It inquires how he gets his income and how he uses it. Thus, it is on one side a study of wealth and on the other and more important side a part of the study of man. According to this definition, economics is closely related to our ordinary business of life. It discuss our economic problems individually as well as collectively both. Now we will start our chapter number one that is evolution of economic life. Now what is the meaning of evolution of economic life? Actually all those evolutionary stages which human being has passed through to earn his livelihood are called the evolution of economic life. Actually it is stage by stage development of man from its primitive stage to the present modern scientific stage. Present development and civilization is the result of constant efforts of man since the existence of man on the earth. This journey of economic life is spread over hundreds of centuries. There are three principal stages of economic life. They are number one, hunting and gathering stage. Second stage is called pastoral stage. And third stage is called agriculture and handicraft stage. Now we will discuss them one by one. In the beginning, man was unknown to civilized life. He lived in caves and used to eat leaves and fruits. Then he learned the use of fire and metal. He invented tools and weapons made of stone, wood and metals like hammers, axes, daggers, knives and arrows to hunt and kill the animals. Man experienced that sometime he had to live without food as his hunted animals and fish etc. could not be used due to unfavorable conditions as meat cannot be stored for longer period. So he started gathering the animals and storing them alive. This is called hunting and gathering stage. Second stage is the pastoral stage. The existence of pastoral stage was the result of hunting gathering and storing animals like goats, sheep, cows and horses. 
water and grass at least was necessary to feed these animals so man started roaming from place to place with his cattle in search of grass and water that is why this period is called pastoral stage the tribes the private property precious stones metals food clothing animals and transportation were the main features of pastoral stage the man who owned a large number of animal in his cattle was said to be a rich and wealthy person third stage is called the agriculture and handicraft stage now man found regular supply of water and vegetation near the river banks he settled down there and learned by nature how to grow plants of food grains and fruits after a long time he was able to cultivate land regularly he also learned the rotation of crops and plants by now he was able to domesticate wild animals and to use them for agriculture as well as for transportation purpose in this way villages came into being near rivers or lakes these villages turn into great and famous cities after a long time we see that all the ancient civilization existed existed near any river for example mohenjo-daro near indus egypt near nile the agricultural stage gave birth to some new economic concept and motives for example division of labor in tribes economy of feudal exchange industrial stage and private and public ownership okay students inshallah in next class we will discuss these new concepts now review of today's lecture our first topic was the definition of economics given by two famous economists that is professor marshall and professor robbins our next topic was evolution of economic life we learned about the three principal stages of economic life which are hunting and gathering stage pastoral stage and agriculture and handicraft stage